Welcome to Senior High School Mathematics. Let us have probability distribution function of random variables. Under Statistics and Probability, Quarter 3, Week 1, based on Curriculum Implementation and Learning Management Matrix for K-12's Most Essential Learning Competencies. Here are our learning competencies. Finds the possible values of a random variable. Illustrates a probability distribution for a discrete random variable and its properties. Constructs the probability mass function of a discrete random variable. Before we continue, let us have this from former U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. The probability that we may fail in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause we believe to be just. Let us introduce the lesson with ponder on this. To any scientific or technical study, it is always helpful to translate those things that are being studied into numbers, that is assigning numerical values to subjects in the study. If a motorcycle rider is looking into fuel efficiency in various kinds of brands of motorcycles, he would look into the relationship between miles traveled per gallon of fuel for each brand of motorcycle. Without being mindful of it, the process of assigning numbers to objects seems to be natural. Another example is when the city government is interested in a study among adult residents in Calaucan City from a collection of adult residents in the city which serves as the sample space which is formed by selecting an adult resident in Calaucan City at random. One possible area of interest might be the age of each adult such that a numerical property of interest is assigned to each element in the sample space. This rule for assigning such numbers or numerical property is called random variable. Consider the collection of all the working people in Calaucan City. We would consider a number of random variables such as age, height, salary, weight, and so on. Before we continue, let us have a recall of an important concept that is the probability of an event. The probability of an event is found by the ratio of the number of events in the favorable outcome and the number of events in the sample space. So the probability of event can be presented as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Say for example, in a roll of a die, what is the probability of getting a prime number? So in here, the sample space is the set of the possible outcomes when rolling a die. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And in the question, the favorable outcome must be getting a prime number. And the prime numbers here are 2, 3, and 5. Therefore, the favorable outcomes is the set with elements 2, 3, 5. So that means, to answer the question, the probability of the event of getting a prime number in a single roll of die is 3 over 6. Because there are 3 outcomes in the favorable outcomes and 6 outcomes in the sample space. The probability when given as a fraction can also be presented in lowest terms. So the probability of this event is equal to one half. Let us continue with some definitions. A function is used to assign a real number to each point of a sample space. These values obtained are called the possible values of a random variable. For example, in a family with three children, the set of all possible outcomes of the event is the sample space. If G stands for girl and B stands for boy, 
The sample space of the results of having three children is as follows. The set with elements 3Gs, 2G and 1B, 2Bs and 1G, and then 3Bs. That means GGG if all the children in the family are girls. Two girls and one boy in different arrangements. Two boys and one girl in different arrangements. And then three boys. Now, when listing the possible outcomes in the sample space, how do you know that you have already listed all the possible outcomes? In bearing a child, there are only two possibilities for biological outcome that is having a girl or having a boy so that means there are two possible results now the number of trials will be the exponent that will be 2 raised to n and since we have three trials here we have 2 raised to 3 the result is 8 that means, in listing the possible outcomes in the sample space, you will have 8 outcomes. Again, that is 2 raised to n. Numeric values may be assigned to these outcomes as the set with elements 1, 2, 3, until 8. Since there are 8 elements in the sample space, then there are eight possible outcomes for the event. If a researcher is interested in a specific random variable, say the number of boys, then the sample space would be 0 for 3 girls, 1 for 2 girls and 1 boy, and there will be 3 situations for that, that is GGB, GBG, BGG. 2 when there are 2 boys and 1 girl 3 when there are 3 boys Hence, the sample space is now a set with elements 0, 1, 2, 3 0 for no boy 1 for 1 boy 2 for 2 boys and 3 children and 3 for 3 boys The relative probability that each outcome x of an experiment will happen can be shown using a function p of x. This is called the probability distribution function. In the first example, the probability distribution function may be formed as follows. p of x is equal to 1 8 if x equals 0, 3 8 if x equals 1, 3 8 if x equals 2, 1 8 if x equals 3. In here, x is the number of boys in a family with 3 children. Now, how did we get these probabilities 1 8, 3 8, and 1 8? Remember, in the sample space, our random variable is the number of boys. So, if there is no boy, that means x equals 0. The situation is when all the children are girls. And that is only one situation out of the eight possible situations or outcome. So, that is 1 over 8. Next, 3 8 if x equals 1. This is the outcome when out of three children, we have one boy that is ggb gbg bgg and there are three outcomes so that means that is three out of eight so that is three eights in example 2.1 if a family with three children is chosen at random what is the probability of having two boys? Answer, 
The probability of having two boys in a family with three children is 3 eighths. Since there are three favorable outcomes, again, these are boy, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, boy, out of the eight possible outcomes in the sample space. So that is 3 over 8. Next example, young boys in the street play tossing of coins. In a toss of two unbiased coin, A. Construct the sample space. B. Assign possible values of a random variable. And C. Construct a probability distribution function for getting a head. Let us answer. Let H be heads and T be tails. The sample space is the set with elements head head, head tail, tail head, tail tail. There are four possible outcomes in the sample space again because in tossing a coin there are two possible outcomes getting a head or a tail. So that means when we do the tossing with two coins there will be two raised to two number of outcomes in the sample space that is four. So we know that when we are listing the elements in the sample space we are expecting four possible outcomes that is HH, HT, TH, and TT. Letter B. Suppose the number of heads is a random variable, then its possible values are 2 when there are 2 heads, 1 when there is 1 head and 1 tail, and 0 when there are 2 tails. Having the number of tails can also be the random variable. In letter C, we are asked to construct a probability distribution function for getting a head. So in letter B, we're going to choose the number of heads as the random variable. Let us proceed to letter C. The probability distribution function for getting heads, therefore, is given by P of X is equal to 1 fourth if X equals 0, 1 half if X equals 1, 1 fourth if X equals 2, or we say 1 fourth if x is equal to 0 or 2, 1 half if x is equal to 1. Again, we have 1 fourth as a probability for x equals 0 because in the outcome that there is no head in the tossing of two coins, that will be one event out of four. So that is 1 fourth. And if x is equal to 1, that means there is one head there are two events in the in the sample space that is ht and th so that is 2 over 4 simplified as one half also one fourth if x equals 2 that means there are two heads that is one event in the sample space one out of four In here, X is the number of heads in tossing two coins. Next example, construct the probability distribution function for each formula. So the probability distribution function can also be constructed out of a given formula. Letter A, P of X is equal to X over X plus 3 for X equals 1, 2, 4. Letter B, P of X is equal to X minus 0 0.35 for X equals 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.95. Let us answer. Letter A, P of X is equal to 1 fourth if X equals 1. How did we get that? If X is equal to 1, we substitute 1 to X in the given function that is 1 over 1 plus 3, 1 fourth. 2 fifth if x equals 2, so that will be 2 over 2 plus 3, that is 2 fifths. 4 sevenths if x equals 4, so substitute 4 in the given function. 4 over 4 plus 3, 
So that is 4 over 7. Next, letter B. P of x is equal to 0.15 if x equals 0.5. Also, we substitute the value of x in the given function. So that will be 0.5 minus 0 0.35, 0 0.15. 0 0.25 if x is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.60 if x is equal to 0 0.95. We do the same procedure to get the probabilities. Now let us have practice exercises. In the practice exercises, you will be given 15 seconds. That time will be uh, for you to answer the exercise. You may pause if you need more time to answer and then play again to check whether your answer is correct. Let us have number one. Consider yourself as a member of a basketball team in an inter-barangay league. Your team has four games left and needs to win two of the remaining games to qualify for the quarterfinals. Letter A. Construct the sample space. Letter B. Assign possible values of a random variable. And letter C. Construct a probability distribution function for team wins. 15 seconds. Okay, let us show the answer. Letter A, let W be wins and let L be losses. The sample space will have 4 W's, 3 W's and 1 L in different arrangements, 2 W's and 2 L's also in different arrangements, 1 W and 3 L's in different arrangements, and then 4 L's. In total, there are 16 possible outcomes in the sample space. Again, in playing a basketball game, there are only two scenarios, that is win or lose. There is no draw in a game of basketball. So, that will be 2 raised to 4 because there are 4 games left. And 2 raised to 4 is 16. So you know that when listing the possible outcomes in the sample space, you should have 16 outcomes. Letter B, the number of wins is a random variable and its possible values are 4 when there are 4 wins, 3 when there are 3 wins and 1 loss. So there will be 4 events in that, 3 wins, 2 when there are 2 wins and two losses so there are six events for that one when there is one win and three losses and zero when there are four losses the probability distribution function for getting a win therefore is given by p of x is equal to 1 over 16 if x equals 0 or 4 1 fourth if x equals 1 or 3 3 eighths if x equals 2 Next, let us have number 2. Construct the probability distribution function for getting tails in tossing 3 coins. Go! Time is up. Let us answer. Let T be tails and H be heads in tossing a coin. The sample space for tossing three coins is three tails, two tails, one head, one head, two tails, and three heads. There will be a total eight in the sample space. If tail is the random variable, then its possible values are 3 for 3 tails, 2 for 2 tails, 1 head, 1 for 1 tail, 2 heads, 0 for 3 heads. 
Hence, the probability distribution is given by P of X is equal to 1 over 8 if X equals 0 or 3. 3 eighths if X equals 1 or 2. Number 3. An alternative learning system class has 20 students. Two students are 17 years old. One is 18. Three are 19. 11 are 20. One is 21. And two are 25. Let X be the age of a student chosen at random. Find the probability distribution function for X. Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. So the probability distribution function for the data is given by P of X is equal to 1 over 20 if X equals 18 or 21. P of X is equal to 2 over 20 if X equals 17 or 25. 3 over 20 if X equals 19. 11 over 20 if X equals 20. In the probabilities, the denominator is 20 because in the problem, it says there are 20 students in the ALS class. And X is the age of the students. There is one 18-year-old, also one 21-year-old student. There are two 17-year-olds and two 25-year-old students. There are three 19-year-old students, so that is 3 over 20. There are 11 20-year-old students, so that is 11 over 20. For numbers 4 and 5, write the probability distribution function for the given formula. Number 4. P of x is equal to x over 8 for x equals 1, 3, 4. Go! Time is up. Let us show the answer. P of x is equal to 1 over 8 if x equals 1. Again, we simply substitute the value of x, 1, to x in the function x over 8, that is 1 over 8. 3 eighths if x equals 3, 4 eighths or 1 half if x equals 4. Let's proceed to the next number. P of x is equal to x over x plus 3 for x equals 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2. Go! Time is up. Let us show the answer. So P of X is equal to 1 over 7 if X equals 0. 0.5. That is 0. 0.5 over 0. 0.5 plus 3 or 0. 0.5 over 3.5 simplified as 1 over 7. 1 fourth if X equals 1. That is 1 over 1 plus 3. 1 fourth. 1 third if X equals 1.5. That is 1.5 over 1.5 plus 3. That is 1.5 over 4.5 simplified as one third. Two fifths if x equals 2. That is 2 over 2 plus 3. Two fifths. For more exercises on this topic, you may download from the link given on the description of this video. That is all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math lessons.